Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to have a very simple conversation with you about Gutenberg, WordPress's very own page builder and how it compares to other more established page builders like say Elementor or Divi. What are the pros and cons of using Gutenberg and under what circumstances would you want to avoid using Gutenberg and just my overall thoughts about the page builder. But before I get into all of that, Let's take a quick look at the history of Gutenberg and how it became what it is today. So Gutenberg was initially released back in November, December of the year 2018 as part of WordPress 5.0. And it was billed as this new feature that will forever change the way we work with WordPress. Now, the WordPress 5.0 update was designed in such a way that users by default will no longer have access to the much beloved old classic editor. But in its place, you will now have access to Gutenberg. Unfortunately, that was a disastrous idea because Gutenberg itself was heavily criticized and was really hated by the WordPress community. And people were trying desperately to avoid using Gutenberg and simply go back to using the old classic editor. In fact, I made a YouTube video teaching people how to do so. And as you can imagine in the comment section, people were so grateful, people were thanking me and people were saying all sorts of things about Gutenberg. They hated it, it was a horrible update. And in fact, there was a plugin called Classic Editor that was designed to allow WordPress users to go back to using the old Classic Editor. And as you can see right now, it already has over 5 million active installations. However, I honestly believe that this plugin is the fastest ever to reach 1 million installations because it came out and then within two weeks, already nearly had over a million active installations. People were desperate to ditch Gutenberg and as you can see even from the reviews, almost a thousand five-star reviews and only 14 one-star reviews. In comparison, there was a plugin developed for Gutenberg outside of the WordPress core that had 685 star reviews, but then over 2,000 one-star reviews. So needless to say that people really hated Gutenberg. But the question right now is, was all this hate and criticism of Gutenberg justified? Were people really justified to dislike Gutenberg that much or were they just being nasty? The truth is, they were justified. The initial release of Gutenberg was really, really horrible. The user interface was whack. It had stability issues, it was clunky, you had issues with trying to click and drag, and overall, Gutenberg was just a mess. But fast forward now to July of 2021, and I can honestly tell you right now that Gutenberg, within this time, has made some very, very significant improvements, and I can say right now that, at the very least, it is a decent page builder. But how does it compare to other page builders like Elementor, as an example? In order to answer that, let's first of all take a look at the two significant advantages that Gutenberg has and will always have over every other page builder out there. The first advantage is the fact that because it is native to WordPress, it is the fastest page builder. It is so much faster than Elementor or Site Origin or Beaver or any other third party uh, page builder out there. There is simply no way those other page builders will be able to compete with Gutenberg because Gutenberg is WordPress. It's WordPress's very own page builder. There is no way you will be able to comp compete with that. In fact, those who specialize in WordPress speed and performance typically, uh, typically recommend that if you've built your site, say with Elementor or any other page builder out there, you should try converting that site back to Gutenberg by making use of Gutenberg's uh, blocks. A lot of people do that. A lot of people just say, mm, it's not worth it. I'll just stick with my old page builder. Now, the second significant advantage that Gutenberg will always have is in terms of updates. Because again, Gutenberg is WordPress. It is native to WordPress. If you're updating WordPress, you're automatically updating Gutenberg. There is never going to be a scenario where Gutenberg clashes with WordPress or there is a conflict. Absolutely not. Because again, Gutenberg is WordPress you're never going to have issues with updates. And that's another advantage that Gutenberg will always have over other page builders out there. Unfortunately, though, that's where the advantages start because if you're now talking about things like design and functionality, uh, ability to support page templates, uh, user interface, third-party support, the other page builders out there are significantly much better than Gutenberg. Now, in terms of third-party support, I'm talking specifically about third-party developers who would make plugins and add-ons that would complement the original page builder. Now, Gutenberg already have a few developers like Motopress and GetWid that make really good add-ons for Gutenberg, 
But Gutenberg as a page builder is still way off in terms of support because if you look at Elementor as an example, Elementor has so many developers out there constantly making new add-ons and new elements that further boost the power of the original Elementor page builder. In terms of user interface, yes, Gutenberg has made significant improvements from what it was a couple of years ago, but it is still a long way from being able to comp compete with most other page builders out there. And even till today, even though you've had major improvements, there are still times when I find it difficult to navigate my way around certain kinds of blocks or elements with Gutenberg. And even recently, I built a business website using Gutenberg. And even though I was able to finish building the website, the overall experience wasn't as smooth as I would have hoped. I had a few issues here and there, a few bugs that needed to be fixed. So overall, much improved user interface, but still a long way for being able to compete with other page builders out there. And in terms of design and overall functionality, Gutenberg is gradually getting there. And in fact, with the upcoming WordPress 5.8 update, the Gutenberg page builder is now going to have access to some really new and cool, exciting widgets like the query loop widget, uh, the post content widget, post title, as well as other uh, blocks like the site logo, site tagline, and I believe that within the next six months to a year, Gutenberg will be able to fully support the uh, creation of page templates and maybe even the use of custom fields and custom post types. We'll see how it goes, but I am very, very excited to see where Gutenberg will be six months from now, a year uh, from today. So basically, my overall grade on Gutenberg on the scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a solid 7. I believe that it has made significant improvements. It is a page builder that you can use to build a website. You're guaranteed the best speeds and uh, security updates as well. You're never going to have issues with updates. But then the downside to Gutenberg is that you may get frustrated every now and then if you're trying to work with certain kinds of blocks or if you're trying to add certain kinds of animations or work with certain kinds of functionalities, you may not find them available with Gutenberg just yet. So let me say that if speed is a topmost priority for you, Gutenberg would be my recommendation. However, if speed isn't that much of a priority, I would recommend you stick with using other page builders for now. And let's see where Gutenberg is six months from now, a year from now. I believe by then, Gutenberg will have become even better. However, what about the other page builders out there? Elemental developers aren't just sitting down doing nothing. They too, they are also improving on Elemental, improving its features. So it'll be interesting to see uh, the battle between Gutenberg and the other uh, third party uh, page builders out there. So those are my honest thoughts about Gutenberg and what I think about the page builder plugin. What are your own comments or your own thoughts? Do you like Gutenberg? Do you hate Gutenberg? Do you see yourself using Gutenberg six, month, six months from now or are you just going to stick with using your favorite page builder, whether it's Elementor or DV or Beaver Builder and so on? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. Please share the video with anyone who may feel my benefit from it. And if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, of course, put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.